How about now? Can you hear me now? For some reason, they had muted the uh, uh, somebody had muted my mic. All right. See if you can hear me now. Okay, we're good. If you like, uh, if you interested in uh, and getting one of our courses, um, you can go to Applies Bootcamp. Uh, I just put it in there, appliancebootcamp.com. You can actually uh, uh, sign up for one of our courses. And like what I said, uh, you kind of miss it. What I'm doing today, I'm actually going to teach. I'm going to actually try to explain the, uh, the refrigeration cycle. And I'm going to explain it in a way that even a sixth grader could actually understand how the refrigeration cycle of a refrigerator works. And I want to give people kind of like a, a quick uh, view of how I actually teach and how I uh, break my lessons down. They, I put them in. I put it in a, a format that you know, applies it to the everyday, uh, the everyday function that we goes on in your life. So you actually know how it actually uh, works every day. Uh, you don't get to see so much of the theory part of it, but we break it down to where the rubber hits the road, and you actually understand how it actually applies to your life. So uh, we got uh, right now. We got like 17 people watching. So we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, right here is uh, is my little illustration of a refrigeration. Uh, cycle. And this is going to be how your refrigerator look in your house. Uh, what we have right here, we're going to have our compressor. This right here is a compressor. And this compressor, um, all it is, just think of it as like a motor. And uh, some people call it a, a, a vapor pump or a pump. I'm going, to, I'm going to say just look at it as a motor. And just like a car engine, they're going to have two pistons in it. And these are two pistons. Um, and some of them might have more, but we're going to, for this one, just going to be a simple compressor with two pistons. And what happens when one piston goes down, the other one goes up, and all it's doing is going to push and suck uh, vapor throughout throughout here, pushing it throughout the system. So when one piston goes down, it sucks, and when the other one goes up, it push, just like on your car engine. That's all it is. You're going to have pistons inside this compressor that's going to suck and push stuff. All right, so what we have inside of this uh, thing, this is what we call our seal system. Um, what we have here, we're going to start off, this, this right here is going to be a hot gas. This right here is hot gas. And what happens, this hot gas is going to come to what we call our condenser coil. And the condenser coil is going to be on the outside or under the refrigerator. It's going to be on the outside or the under or the refrigerator. And this right here would be the same thing in, in your house. If you go uh, look at your house, you're going to have uh, at the very back of your uh, house, uh, a lot of times during the summertime, you go there, that fan that's turning, that's your condenser unit. And what happened, the hot air that you see hitting your face, well, that's what this does. It has a fan. And this fan right here, uh, we're going to call it exactly what it is, condenser fan, because it's the fan that's located on the condenser unit. And what happened, this fan right here, this is going to be blowing cool air across this condenser coil. So it's blowing cool air. That fan is turning, and while it's turning, it's blowing cool air across that condenser coil. And what happens, uh, if we learn in sixth grade in physics, uh, whenever something changes, whenever matter changes states, like meaning going from a gas to a liquid or a liquid to a gas, uh, whenever something does that, it's either going to give, it's going to give off energy or it's going to absorb energy. And energy is heat. So what it's going to do, we're right here, we got a, uh, we got a hot gas, and we're blowing cool air across it. Whenever you blow cool air across a hot gas, it will condense. And once it condenses, it'll condense back to a liquid. So it's going to start off as a hot gas, then it's going to turn back to a liquid. And when it does that, what happens? The, uh, the heat that was on that hot gas, now it's going to turn, um, it's going to give it off because now it's just changed from a gas to a liquid. It's gonna actually give off energy, which is heat. So that hot air is what we're gonna see here. That's the hot air when you go behind your, uh, go behind your refrigerator that you feel. That's the hot air that when you uh, go behind your condensing unit and your air conditioning unit during the summer, <clears throat> that's the hot air that you feel. So now we got a uh, liquid here coming. And this liquid, we're gonna actually bring it over here 
And this right here is what we call freon that's going inside there. That's actually freon. You hear people say freon here. And freon on the different on the different pressures and stuff, it has different uh, evaporation and condensing um, uh, temperatures. And this one right here, just for the sake of it, we're gonna say it's gonna uh, we're gonna say zero degrees. Just just for just for easy sixth grade uh, understanding, we're gonna say zero degrees. And zero degrees uh, means it's gonna actually be freezing. Zero degrees Celsius. So zero degrees Celsius. That means it's actually going to be freezing. That's that's the temperature water freeze at, at Celsius. So zero degrees Celsius is going to actually start to freeze. All right. So this thing right here, it actually evaporates at uh, zero degrees. So what happens? We're going to actually take that uh, freon. It's going to start off as a hot gas. Blow. We're going to blow the fan across it. When the fan goes across it, it's going to actually change state. When it changes state, like we learned in sixth grade, it's either going to absorb or it's going to give off energy. This one is giving off energy. Now it turns back into a liquid. When it gets here to a liquid, now we're going to make it evaporate. This right here is another coil. And we call this the evaporator coil. And this is the coil that's inside of the refrigerator. And this will also be the coil that'll be inside of your house. So what happened as the as that liquid get here and it comes inside of the refrigerator coil, now it's gonna it's gonna evaporate. It's going to evaporate. Now, and what's happening here, we have another fan that's pulling right here. That fan that's pulling right here, it's pulling air, but it's sucking air. And what you're going to have inside your freezer compartment, um, inside the freezer compartment of the refrigerator, you're going to have that, uh, we're going to say that Thanksgiving turkey. You're going to have that turkey in there. All right. Uh, when, when, when you bring that turkey home from the grocery store, it might not be frozen all the way. Uh, because it's not frozen all the way, it's going to have what we call some heat. It's going to have heat there. And what's going to happen, that fan is going to be sucking, and it's going to suck the heat. And when it sucks the heat across the coils, remember I just told you, sixth grade physics, we change the states. We're going from a liquid to a gas. Now it's not going to give off heat. It's going to actually absorb heat. So what happened, the freon inside this unit, it's gonna absorb the heat that's coming off of that turkey. It's gonna absorb the heat that's coming off of there. When it absorbs the heat, it's gonna actually bring the hot air back into this uh, compressor, and it's gonna actually then push it back over here to the condenser, and we're gonna just keep the cycle going. We just keep the cycle going all the time. All right, so that's what we do. Now we got a, we got something going on here inside the inside of moisture inside of the air and just atmosphere. We're gonna have moisture. We're gonna have water molecules in there. So um, now that you have water molecules in there, what's gonna happen? Because this right here is evaporating at zero degrees, and we put zero degrees Celsius just so sixth grade people know that it's freezing. Um, when water hits this evaporator coil, it's gonna actually start to form a, a big ice shield because water is going to start to freeze on it, all right? So the water start to freeze on it, what will happen if that ice stays there, the heat will hit that ice and bounce off, and it can't actually attach to the uh, freon that's inside of the coils. So what we have to do, we actually have to have a way to actually melt that ice every so often to keep it from actually freezing up inside of the refrigerator. So what we have here, We're going to have what we call a defrost heater. That's a defrost heater. Every couple of hours or so, we're going to turn this heater on. And what that heater is going to do, it's going to melt this ice that's built up. It's going to melt it, and water is going to form. Now, we're going to have a way for this water to go someplace. We're going to have a drain line. We we'll have a drain line, and what happens every so often when that water melts, it's gonna, uh, and when the ice melts, the water is gonna drain out, and it's gonna drain out here by the compressor, and now it's out here by the compressor. The compressor is gonna be over 100 degrees. It's gonna let this water evaporate. 
because that's why we never see the water up on uh, up on our uh, refrigerator. It evaporates because of the heat and stuff from the compressor and the condenser core. But every so often, what happens? We have uh, somebody that might have a dog, uh, might have uh, don't, don't uh, they have dogs in the house, or they have uh, uh, pets or, or uh, anything that can actually uh, get like hair and dirt and debris, and it actually suck up in, into this uh, drain tube. Or if you saw the video I put out the other day when I'm at the restaurant and they dropping food and stuff down there in the drain tube, what happens, that water hits that blockage, comes back and it spills out inside the refrigerator and on the floor and stuff. So every so often you have to come out here and you have to put your steamer in here. And that's what you see me doing on that last video. I was just blowing out that drain tube so water can go back up under the refrigerator. All right. Now, over here on the condenser core, just like I said, uh, you can get dog hair in here. Same thing, you can get hair and lint build up on your condenser core. And same thing, you get dog hair and lint build up on your condenser core. What happened to the cool air? The cool air, it, it can't hit the actual coils to cool it down because this becomes like an insulation. And what's going to happen? It's not going to let this, um, this hot gas evaporate. It's going to put a hot gas, hot air, gas, right back into the refrigerator. It's going to make the refrigerator stay warm. So that's why every so often you need to do, uh, you need to come out here and clean your condenser cores. Some of them now are supposed to be self-cleaning. Um, they, they build some that's self-cleaning and never supposed to get dirty. But still, uh, I've seen lint and stuff get on the fan blades and all that and slow the fan blade down. So this fan right here, can't spin at high speed, um, it will still won't, um, won't let it condense. But that's how refrigeration works. And when you come to appliance boot camp, what I'm going to teach you, I'm going to teach you to look at what I call the low hanging fruit. Um, inside of this machine right here, this is what we call the seal system. The seal system is going to deal with the compressor and the freon inside of it. Um, that, that's, the, uh, that's the seal system. I don't teach you to do the seal system. We're going to, uh, we're going to stay with the low hanging fruit. The low hanging fruit, we're going to um, stick with the condenser fan, the drain line, the defrost heater, the evaporator fan, and we're going to stick with the actual um, controls that controls these. It'd be either a, a defrost timer, a cold control, electronic control board, and the accessories that go to your refrigerator. That would be your ice maker, water valves, and dispensers. Those right there are what I call the low hanging fruit. Um, right now, we're not doing actually into the seal system. Um, seal system, because a lot of people who come to the appliance boot camp, a lot of times they don't have the, uh, they, they're taking money to come here and to get their business started. Right off the top, they don't have the uh, several thousand dollars to actually buy the equipment to actually service the seal system. Uh, so I want them to actually make their money up. And eventually, if they would like to go into the seal system, they can. But starting off, I don't want them to go into the seal system. I want them to stay with the low hanging fruit. And make the uh, make the money there because uh, a lot of money be made on the low end, low end of it. Um, a lot of times here, even if you uh, do get into the seal system work, most manufacturers don't even put you uh, access valves where you can actually check the pressures and stuff, check the pressures and stuff going in because uh, a lot of times, like I said, a, a seal system job uh, usually for us it starts at about a thousand dollars, and most of the time people decide to go buy a new refrigerator. Now, if you use in an area where people got high-end refrigerators like uh, GE Monogram, Sub-Zeros, uh, Vikings, stuff like that, yeah, they'll get those repaired. But the, uh, the average person just got a regular uh, uh, refrigerator, refrigerator. Uh, you tell them $1,000, most of the time they just can go buy a new refrigerator. All right? So that's, our, um, that's, that's the low-hanging fruit that I'm going to tell you to get into. And that's how the uh, refrigeration cycle works. And that's easy enough where, uh, what you call, uh, actual... Uh, sixth graders can understand how it works. And it, it's easy to see how it applies to your everyday life. All right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go here and kind of look and see what we got going on in the chat, answer some of the stuff we got going on here, and see, see what we got going on. Hey, Mike Reed, what's happening? Hey, Kevin Roberts, CCH1978, all right, Jay Reed, okay. Yeah, I got the sound taken care of. It was on mute. Uh, glad y'all let me know, okay. Hey, Brew J. BK from the Rockers. Okay, there we go. All right, there we go. 
<laughs> yeah, Mike Reed. You see the seal system? Yeah, there we go. All right. All right, they got some networking going on. All right, see a lot of networking. Good Lord, <laughs> Capital Ventures. I binge watched all three of the courses over the past weekend. Wow, okay, uh, go back and check because some of them we added some more on Sunday. Make sure you got everything that, that was in there on Sunday because uh, we, we added some more on there. All right, checking in, checking in with the master team. All right, hey, AV uh, Civic Center. Uh, Black uh, 12 21 2. Mike, I have the exact amount of dryer that you have in your ABC course. My timer now broke uh, the stem. How do I order the part? Just go to uh, Sears Park Direct or, um, and get the part number, and then you can call, uh, go to a local, uh, go to your local appliance company. Where, where are you located at? Let me, uh, let me put it in where you get the part number first. You go here, put your model and serial number in, and then from there, um, go to your local parts house. And you need to go to your local parts house and actually uh, actually form a relationship. Um, I buy some stuff online uh, from like uh, Marcone, and you can buy it on Amazon. Some stuff be cheaper on Amazon. But you need to go to your local parts house and actually form a relationship with them and open up a cash account. Um, I I um, I don't do I don't do uh, credit accounts. Um, I do cash accounts, credit accounts when you first start in business and you actually charge and stuff and, and you, you, everybody say, I'm going to, um, I'm going to pay it off as soon as I get the money. But a lot of times we don't, and you can actually get yourself in trouble. So actually go, uh, go to your, uh, local parts distributor, uh, within your community and actually, uh, start open up a cash account and a cash account will allow you to get the, uh, get the price at wholesale prices, but it won't allow you to charge. You have to pay cash for them. And that way, keep you honest, honest, and you won't have to worry about not being able to pay your bills. Okay. All right. He's in Dublin, Georgia. Yeah, it's, 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 uh, I don't know what Dublin, Georgia is, but uh, uh, it, it should it should be a uh, it should be a parts house nearby you. All right. I'm gonna move this around a little bit. In a second, I'm gonna move my camera back around. Okay. All right, we're good. Yeah, but it should be a parts house nearby you. Okay, uh, Kenneth Barron said he he bought the blender course last night. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate it very much. Uh, uh, everybody who bought the courses and stuff, thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I, I really, really do appreciate it. Um, like I say, all of the old uh, material is up now. Um, even those people who uh, want to go ahead and actually schedule the date they want to come to the live event, um, if you if you purchase the course, you can go there now and actually uh, schedule. Just click on uh, a hands-on uh, live event. It's going to open up. It's going to go to a file. You need to open up that PDF file, and they have the link to the actual schedule. You can choose the date that you want. Um, and I really, really do appreciate everything you all have done and allow me to actually bring this to you all. I really do appreciate it. Uh, oh, boy, Dred, just want to say thanks to all of the people in the chat that always help everyone out with the knowledge they come across in their new business and while we take notes from my <laughs> Yeah, thanks. Yeah, man, the, uh, the people in the chat, they really, really good. Um, uh, I, I'm, 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 uh, I'm, uh, they're they're actually better than I am with getting back with people. But right now I'm only one person, and right now I'm getting so many emails and so many uh, phone messages. A lot of times I um, I'm not able to get to everybody as quickly as I would like. Um, I have a young lady that actually came in this weekend and, and actually helped me, and um, I think she's going to be the one that we're going to kind of use um, when we go into the um, new building. And uh, she she done very well with helping me get everybody registered that wasn't registered. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I gotta have somebody when we get into that new building to actually help me out. Uh, do the alumni who came from the live event get enrolled into the? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been saying that too. Uh, everybody who came to the live event, just you're gonna have. To, uh, let me put the website again. Um, 
right here. If you go back to appliancebootcamp.com and, and go and register, don't buy anything, just go register. Um, I'll watch call. I'll put you into the uh, and email me and let me know. Uh, and use the same email address that you use to register for the live event, and I'll add you in. Uh, once again, JT, um, Hustle Academy and Appliance Bootcamp, we're totally separate from that now. Uh, so if you go to his site and you, uh, some people have sent me that they're registered on his site, uh, I won't be able to see you there. That's totally, uh, that's totally, uh, separate from Appliance Bootcamp now. We decided it would be best if we split them off instead of commingling co -mingle, co everything. So they, they're totally separate. So if you register there, you're going to have to go to Applies Bootcamp and register here also. Okay. Uh, anyone here using Hitchcock Insurance? I never heard of Hitchcock uh, Insurance. All right. All right. Uh, Dave Miles. Hey, Mike. Me being a previous ABC Live course training, what is the going rate if I wanted the online course? Or would it be no? All you gotta do, Dave, is just go sign up, and I put you in. Everybody who came to the live event early that that that's 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 me saying I uh, thank you all for uh, uh, for taking a risk on us to allow us to actually get this started. So if you, especially you, Dave, you was one of the first ones that <laughs> that came. So those people who actually uh, uh, came and actually uh, uh, allowed us to actually come to you and actually show you uh, and allow us to be. Uh, to, to actually show you the appliance repair field. Uh, no, nah, you just go sign up and you go into the course. Uh, no, no charge at all. Uh, that's, that's us saying thank you. Um, I, I don't think it'll be like that forever, but for right now, for those people who actually help us get this off the ground and stuff, that's us telling you all, thank you. That's me telling you all, thank you and how much I appreciate it. So I want you all to come in and, uh, and, 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 and get that because if it won't for you all, it won't, none of this will be possible. Now uh, it's going to be a cutoff for that, uh, where uh, uh, those where we're going to have to say, okay, that's it. We can't uh, going forward. Uh, everybody won't be able to get everything else for free. But those people who help us get this off the ground, yeah, y'all get it. Y'all get it. Uh, y'all getting all of that. All right, uh, Reginald Terry, thank you. I appreciate it. you. Welcome. You welcome. Uh, TC Appliance Repair. Hey, how you doing, TC? Uh, like I say, I enjoyed that uh, that uh, video that you and. Uh, TMM done. That, that was really good. I really appreciate that, man. That was really good. All right. They actually got some networking going on as far as the uh, insurance and stuff like that. Yeah, uh, I, I was going to teach on actually hiring people today, but we are supposed to have our actual uh, monthly meeting for our uh, P1322, my investment group. And, and all, right at the last minute, they decided that they uh, they weren't going to do it. And I had something else I was going to show here. So I decided I'd come live and then I'd teach on Friday about uh, hiring somebody. All right. All right. They still got some uh, got some stuff going on. Uh, Dave Miles, great. So happy to have attended the first course. Anyone here who is interested in learning from Mike Snee ABC course, it would be a great event. Thanks, Dave, man. I'm so glad y'all came. I, I, I am. Uh, I, I, uh, I, I really appreciate it. All right. All right, let's see what we got here. That's somebody uh, reaching out to TC Appliance. All right, LP, thank you for all the game, Mike. I have 100 letters ready to send out for the blender repair. My website up, my LLC sent off, and I'm looking to hire someone. Wow. For, uh, is, is, uh, is this just for a blender, or is this for a appliance repair too? Uh, he's looking to hire someone in January. Uh Oh, okay, LP, LP. Okay, I'm. I know. Okay, I know exactly who it is now. You man, he just came to the appliance boot camp, and uh, he he's looking to hire already. He ain't. He, you ain't been gone two weeks, man. Wow. Go ahead. Uh, but we had talked about that while he was here. So uh, that's that's good, man. That's good. All right. Uh, that's them talking. Uh, no, uh, Black 12, 21, 2, uh, you're going to have to buy the entire, uh, you're going to have to buy the whole timer. You can't just buy the stem. You can't just buy the stem. You got to buy the whole timer. Yeah, um, uh, they don't sell just the stem. All right. Um, some, something else I, uh, I want to tell people, too. Some people are asking me about the blender course and the and the drive vent course, how to actually uh, set up and have your, have a, a what you call LLC with it. I didn't write those courses to actually be self-sustaining businesses. I wrote those courses uh, for uh, for people who, when they bought the appliance boot camp, um, a lot of times they're saying they didn't have, that they were taking all their money to buy the appliance boot camp. 
they, they didn't have money for a while to actually get their appliance business going or to get the money to come to the appliance boot camp live. So I put those two courses in there. So once they get there, uh, once you bought the uh, appliance boot camp, you actually start studying. You can actually do those two courses, actually start building your money up to actually go out and get your insurance and, and do your LLCs and stuff like that. I wrote those mainly for side hustles and, and for stuff to actually uh, actually just be like add on. I didn't write those as uh, as full full standalone businesses. All right. Okay. Here we go. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Uh, 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 Mike Train, will you have JT Hustle back anytime soon? Yeah, yeah. Uh, JT and I, um, uh, right now it's the Christmas season, so uh, nobody's really doing anything for the Christmas season. So I'll probably see JT right after Christmas. Um, he, he, I think he might have been up this week, but yeah, we're still doing everything to, uh, we still, we still communicate, uh, constantly and we're going to be still doing stuff together. But, uh, uh, JT, uh, you might've seen on his channel, uh, he, he's actually, uh, going and he wants to do, I think a radio station. Last time I talked to him, he was actually looking at radio station. He's looking at other businesses and stuff, and he didn't want to get tied in to, uh, actually, uh, you know, cause here at the appliance boot camp, and then he was doing, uh, Ontario, that, that's that's uh these full time jobs and uh he wanted to just get it started he didn't he won't uh it's funny uh, he, he he brought me out of retirement now he went and I had to come out of retirement now he going back into like retirement so he got me back working now he, he he's going off to do what he wants to do but I, I I'm, I'm really grateful for him bringing me into this because I'm I'm truly loving it uh but yeah now nah, he 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 wants to go off and do do what he's doing. And, but he still he still be a vital uh, uh, a vital vital part of a uh, plans boot camp and he'll still pop up uh, from time to time in the different classes and stuff and yeah he's coming back on 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 here it's just right now it's Christmas time it's Christmas season everybody everybody's doing stuff with their families and stuff like that so um next year we'll, we'll actually see him uh, we'll be back and I'll be back on his program too Uh, TC Appliance Repair, uh, he's talking. Uh, they're doing some uh, networking. Okay, uh, Capital Ventures. The course was super easy to learn since I've tinkered around with appliances before. That Mike, that portion you teach about the symbols was so dope. Uh, it really helped me understand how to reach the max. Okay, thanks, man. Uh, no, that, when I first started doing this, uh, that was one of the things that, uh, that, uh, that had me really puzzled. I said, because uh, I went to I went to college for four years, uh, I was, uh, for electronics and computer technology, and when I left, I couldn't I couldn't read schematics when I uh, when I left college. After four years of college and and graduating in electronics, I couldn't read schematics, and I didn't learn how to read schematics until I got uh, my first engineering job, and I actually uh, uh, had to sit down and learn myself how to read schematics. Uh, that was one of the things I said, how am I teach these guys how to read schematics? And a weekend and luckily enough uh, it's gone pretty well and now with the newer stuff that i learned because i taught that one at the very beginning uh now I, i've actually cleaned it up a lot more where now within about an hour people are reading schematics in, in an hour or less they're learning how to read schematics and uh and by the end of by the end of, end of the live event um people are tired of reading schematics <laughs> they're okay yeah we understand it let's move on you know um, uh, and th that's, that's really good. That's really good. Okay. Hey, now Dr. Funk. All right, man. The online course is really, uh, a, a helpful tool for reference. I missed the business portion at the live event. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Um, uh, that's why I decided to put both of them together. That way when people came here, uh, they wouldn't be so much in the blind and I wouldn't be starting so much from scratch and it actually helps the ramp up time. So now when they come here, uh, hopefully people have looked at the stuff online when they come to the live event they have some work and knowledge of what we're doing and then uh, we can actually ramp up quicker and we won't have to take so long um, with each section it'll be just more of an overview and we can do more of the hands-on and stuff so that's why I put it there and some of the stuff like the drive event cleaning and all that uh, all that stuff uh, there's no need to really do it at the live event it's super easy um, and we got we got plenty of videos show you how to do it um, if somebody wants to do it, it'd be available there. 
but uh, it won't be like we've done in the past where we actually dedicated time to do it. If somebody want to do it, it'll be there if they, uh, if they want to do it. But it's not going to be something I'm going to just dedicate time. I'm going to actually take that uh, take that section and actually uh, uh, bring in the turbo shelf and all that. Okay. Uh, uh, old boy Dread, how much is the average down payment and monthly payment for your commercial insurance? Uh, that's going to depend on uh, too many things uh, on you, and, and it's not going to be it's not going to be uh, a, a, a go. It's going to depend on where you live at. Uh, some of them now look at your credit, um, depending on what type of uh, policies that the third party warranty is looking for, wanting you to get. Uh, with me, I think I pay maybe, I don't know, uh, for one of them, I'm paying like less than $500 a year for one, but that, that's a real simple one. And then um, the one where uh, I have, I have to have one where, because we drive with uh, doing the uh, doing, I, I drive my trucks doing deliveries and all that stuff uh, with my uh, with my trucks and stuff. I have to have an insurance that covers the stuff while we transport and all that. I think I might be paying maybe one hundred and twenty, maybe one hundred forty dollars a month for that. Okay. Uh, be logic. Okay, when I'm done with my quote, next insurance had a lower monthly rate, so Old Republic doesn't accept next. CA, okay, they, they talking, okay. Uh, KT Pretty True, when I purchase the online course, will it be broken up or full? Nah, when you purchase it, it's going to be full. It's going to, you get the full thing, but you can't come to the live event until you pay it off. Right now, um, you got what you call, I, I broke it up. You can pay it all in one purchase if you like, which would be $16.50. Um, otherwise, I broke it up where you can actually make two payments of $8.25. So you can actually uh, make uh, 820, uh, you can actually uh, break it up into two payments. But until you pay the full, uh, the full payment of it, of the 1650, you can't come to the live event. Oh, okay, King Jaffe. All right, all right, this is David L. I spoke to you tonight. I'm the truck driver. I'm trying to free myself from the trap of long distance truck driving. Thank you for the talking, for teaching us. We'll be attending your course soon. Okay, yeah. Um, he called us. Uh, he called me right before I went on air, and we had a conversation. And uh, like I said, uh, I, I've told people before, there's something going on inside those trucks. <laughs> those guys, uh, you know, everybody have told us all these all these years that truck driving is where you need to go. You can make a lot of money, which they do make a lot of money. Um, they uh, driving trucks. They say, you know, you need to go drive trucks. You need to go drive trucks. But those truck drivers are running out of those trucks left and right. And he's one of the guys, he's ready to get out of that truck. Uh, you can hear it in his voice. He said it just makes him sick <laughs> sitting in that truck. And uh, I, I, couldn't, I, couldn't imagine, um, uh, I couldn't imagine getting up every morning going to do something that I, I, I hate like that. I, I've been, I happen to go there. Uh, to be honest with you, uh, right now, um, I'm almost like a kid. The last four or five months, I've almost been like a kid at Christmas time where I, I can barely sleep because I'm excited to get up and go to work. <laughs> uh, believe it or not, I'm, I'm excited to get up and go to work um, to come out here and teach this. Uh, right now with the young man that's actually uh, uh, renovating the actual building, um, tomorrow uh, we actually are, are, what we're doing now, I'm showing them, uh, we got some some of the actual, uh, some of the actual uh, trusses that's in the ceiling. Uh, they were actually bad, so we had to take them out. So what we had to do, we had to, we had to actually, uh, build like a uh like a, a brace to to get the the, the pull some put some of the trusses up as we reset them and stuff and uh that's fun I, it's something i had never done before uh they had never done before but we done one or two of them uh before uh before we quit this afternoon and tomorrow we're gonna do the rest of them and reframe them and i'm i can i can't wait to get there tomorrow to actually start doing it uh so yeah you get to the point where you uh with me uh uh with appliance repair I, I, sometimes you can't sleep. Uh, I, I can't sleep because I'm excited about doing the work, especially if I know I got a big hit coming up. Sometimes I got, uh, uh, I, I know I got, uh, I got some money coming in. I know I got a couple of jobs. I'm gonna have some big hits and some big money. I can't wait to get to those. I can't wait to get to those. Okay, they got some uh, what's call going on. All right, uh, TC appliance repair. I just found out that the Dallas Fort Worth area population is almost seven million. That's a lot of money waiting to be spent on appliance repair. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. 
Oh, okay. Let me change that up. Uh, uh, KT, pretty true. Let me change that up. Right. Uh, uh, don't purchase it now. Uh, let me change that up. Uh, he says what's happened. He's actually, uh, they're trying to charge him two payments. Um, at 16, uh, 1650. Let me change that now. Give me one second and I'll change that for you. Yeah, they shouldn't do that. Okay, yeah, we don't want that. Give me one second. I'll switch that up for you, and you'll be able to uh, you'll be able to get it. Okay, so that that should be fixed now. Thank you for letting me know that. All right, so that should be fixed now. If you go there and look, that should be fixed. Thank you, KT, pretty true. All right. Uh, let's see where I'm at here. Okay. All right, they got some networking going on. Who's Lee Ah? Oh, he retracted. I don't know. I didn't see what he wrote. Oh, he retracted the message. I didn't see what he wrote. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. They got some networking going on there. Okay. All right. But yeah, um, like I, uh, I was telling y'all the last, uh, the last video I done with the appliance boot camp uh, with appliance repair being like the uh, the best the the best career there is. I was telling the young man who called earlier tonight. Um, I can't think of a, a better business than uh, uh, than what we than what we're doing here with appliance uh, appliance repair. Uh, and let's see, who's Lee? Uh, Leah. Uh, what they say, uh, Mike or anyone, can you damage floors moving refrigerator? Okay, yeah, you can. Uh, you need to watch them call. You need to actually put the slide. If they got it filled up with uh, food and stuff, um, you need to watch them call. You need to uh, you need to put it on the slide. Uh, you you watch them call. If they got filled up with food, you need to put it up on the slides and slide it out. What happen if they got hardwood floors? Um, they have what you call it It'll actually put an indenture on it. Also, if they got like the French doors and they got a bottom freezer and stuff like that, sometimes they might have a what you call They might have an actual uh, uh, like little locker on the very bottom. And if they do, then they uh, you need to let those locker up. Some people, uh, there's like two little legs you, you screw down to keep the floor, keep it from actually uh, uh, tipping over and keeping it in place. Um, you need to make sure you screw those up because sometimes people forget to screw those up and you start to move and you'll scratch the floors too. But yeah, refrigerator, put them on your, your, your uh, uh, appliance slot that, that take them out. All right, they Y'all got a lot of networking going on, man. I, th this is wonderful, man. This is wonderful. All right, Kevin Roberts, the tool list video is really short. Yeah, because uh, everybody wants me to, uh, everybody wants me to add all the tools. And one time I, I was adding all the tools but then when I would talk to people, I would ask them, hey, uh, uh, have you got started? And they'd be like, no, I can't. I ain't got all my tools. And you really don't need about $60, $80 worth of tools. But what happened, uh, I had added all these tools. They thought they had to have all of, all of the tools. And so they wouldn't do anything until they try to get all the tools. So I try to just give you the very basic tools you need to get started, which is about $60 to about $80 worth of tools. Um, so that way uh, you can get started. And then as you get started, you can actually build your tools up. Uh, so I, I want to give you the very minimum you need to get started. 
And that's another reason why I like the appliance repair field. Uh, it doesn't take much money to get going. No money at all, Holly, to get going. Okay. All right. Uh, TC appliance repair. Have you seen the new tool to move appliances it's called appliance uh, slide? Um, uh, I think it's actually lift the appliance and glide on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, they've been making those for a while. It's like a little vacuum pack you put on the back on your back. And you actually, uh, you actually stick the vacuum, uh, uh, like a little blower, vacuum blower, uh, that you actually stick to these two little, to this little like pad on the bottom, and the air, you slide it up on the appliances, and then the air lift it up, and you can actually slide it out. And it's called an appliance glide. Yeah, uh, they've been doing those for years. Uh, several times I thought about actually getting one um, to actually uh, for moving refrigerators and stuff. Um, but uh, with my guys, um, when they're doing uh, the deliveries and all that, they actually they actually use the uh, the harnesses. Uh, the, I, I call them the harness to lift them and stuff. And they they trying to get in and out so fast. They they're not gonna uh, do it with the slides. But I, I thought about getting it a couple of times just to just to see if it works. Um, and also they're good to use them. Um, you know, if you get one of those uh, wolf ranges and stuff. They actually, uh, they can be real heavy too. The uh, Thermador ranges, the Wolf ranges, and you can actually slide them up under there and lift the ranges and slide them out too. Um, but uh, right now I just use my slide and I, I've, I've been pretty good with that. All right. Untamed Kango, should the homeowner remove the food inside the refrigerator prior to the technician getting there? Uh, yeah, sometimes if, I, if, I, um, if I'm coming, if I know I got to blow out a drain line, uh, and uh, I know they got they're gonna have a lot of stuff in the refrigerator. I have them remove it out, um, even when I um prior to I'm getting there, but even when I get there, um, I, I before I start removing food or put my hands in on, on their food, I actually ask them, um, uh, would they like to would they like to remove the food, or uh, sometimes they just tell me you just go ahead and set it over there. I get their permission because everybody don't want you taking your hands, putting it on their food and stuff. So before I start grabbing food and moving it, I ask them if they are uh, if they if, if they don't mind remo uh, moving it. And then sometimes they just tell me just set it over there. If they give me the okay, I'll go ahead and move it. Uh, maybe use a hand truck to move the appliances around. Um, you can uh, if you're doing delivery and installs, you can uh, use a hand truck. But most of the time, get your appliance slot. Um, that's enough. Once you get it on the slide, you can just slide it across the floor. Now on the appliance slide, make sure that you uh, you keep it, you you got it clean. Uh, sometimes uh, you might. Uh, sometimes I, I've seen somebody have like a rock or something, or maybe uh, like uh, we used to do a little seal system work. We'll put the uh, the slide sometime up under the refrigerator while we're doing seal system work uh, when we braze it because we don't want any of the uh, uh, the solder. Uh, uh, the, the the brazen rod or whatever when we when we brazen we don't want any of that falling on nobody's floor. Sometimes it will fall right on that uh, appliance slide and actually burn in that little metal uh that little metal be uh, be like a little metal uh, like a BB almost. I like get burned into the slide. You want to make sure you knock those any debris off. Cause what happened? You'll turn it upside down, not knowing it. Put a refrigerator on it and go to move it and slide it and it'll scratch the floor. So make sure you keep the slides clean uh, uh, when you're doing that. Okay. Open your um open your eyes, people. Hey Mike, can I get a copy of the flyer that you use for uh vent cleaning? Um if uh if um uh, I, I think uh I, if I if you who I think you are, um uh, open your eyes, people. Um uh I, I think you came to the appliance boot camp. So if you came to the live appliance boot camp. Just go sign up for Appliance Bootcamp Live, and I'll put you into the plans. I'll put you into the uh, to the online, and they'll have everything there. I uh, I think I know who you are. I don't want to call people names out over uh, over the internet. Okay. The air slide is about three hundred dollars. Um, sound like it came down. I ain't looked at it uh, recently. I ain't looked at it in a while. Uh, let me look and see um, what it is. Let me see how much it is.
Yeah, it is about three hundred dollars. Um, and uh, I'll show you show you what it is. I might get one now. Jesus Christ, they were like five six hundred dollars. Um, I might get one now. Let me come here and I, I'll show you what it looks like. Here go, uh, here go the slide right here. And what happened, this little backpack, you put that on your back and you um, you take these uh, two little hoses right here and you slide them up under the refrigerator. And then when you turn this on, it's going to actually blow air through the bottom of these right here and it'll actually lift the refrigerator up and you actually uh, can just um, pull the refrigerator straight on out by yourself. You don't need any help. And uh, uh, it doesn't have, uh, see, it does it like this. And you don't have to have any help, and you don't have to worry about scratching the floors or anything. It just pushes air on the bottom of it. Uh, and you can do it to do ranges. Um, I wonder if you could actually uh, take a, a stack unit out of, a, out of a, a wash pan. I don't know. I wonder if you could do that. But that's what happens. You slide those up on the refrigerator, and you turn that on, and it, it blow the air up under there and lifts it up. Yeah. I might try one now um, because uh, uh, they're so cheap now. They, that's not bad at all. Three ninety five. I might. I, I might try one. But yeah, one time there was like five, six hundred dollars for them um, years back when I was actually looking at one. All right. Um, other thing is getting. Um, I want to tell you all. Um, we're actually getting close to the actual, uh, what we call ASTI. Uh, if you had never uh, seen what goes on with ASTI, uh, this is our actual, uh, uh, our actual annual training institute right here. And it's going to be January the 19th to the 23rd. And it's going to be uh, St. Pete Beach, Florida. Uh, same thing as uh, Tampa Bay. Um, but yeah, this, this is our convention. Let me see. Uh, have they uh, have they got the agenda and, and what what's going on? See if they got the agenda up already. Okay, yeah, they got the agenda. Here go what you get on uh, uh, 2020 class schedule. They got basic electricity, electricity. They got a basic refrigeration. They got Bosch induction cooking. They got uh, service company solutions. Um, uh, service desk. That that's the actual software. Kind of like a CRM software they got going on. Uh, they got the Blue Book. Uh, people want to know how to do Blue Book. They have uh, the people who actually wrote the Blue Book. They be there doing their thing. Um, True Residential. They make uh, expensive under the counter refrigerators and ice machines. They'll be there with their machines, and you can actually go there to their class. And then what they do, they uh, they have a morning and they have afternoon. So that this right here is the morning classes. And you'll see they repeat the same stuff in the afternoon, so that way you don't have to miss anything. Um, you can actually go uh, go to go to everything; you don't have to miss anything. All right, and that's why I tell you about the peer groups. They have a breakout of the peer groups. Um, uh, this right here is good too. Uh, chemistry of dishwashing soap. I like that because uh, you go there in the past, they will actually give you a what you call uh, the lady. She give you like a one year supply of nothing a uh, dishwashing soap. And what happened, I, I would take that one, no, uh, it'd be like the sample supplies for a whole year. So they give you a big box of soap. And I used to take that and actually uh, uh, use that. And I went to customer houses. I would give it out as samples. And uh, that, that, that worked pretty good. So I, I, I would do that. All right. So that's on the 19th. Uh, that was the 19th. They got there. Here go the 20th. Fisher Packle Ranges. True Residential. Going to be doing their refrigerators and ice machines again. Uh, same thing with service desk. Uh, Bico 36 French door refrigerator, 24 inch uh, top control pro handle dishwasher. So that's what they're going to have there. Bosch microwave, EPAS. Uh, that's another like uh, uh, service uh, CRM software. GE three door refrigerator. Hiring and training new technicians from the ground up for small businesses. Lambar, they do like uh, uh, they high end refrigerators and stuff. Technician pay structures, customer service, know your numbers, cost of doing business, ransomware, um, uh, 
poor business practices for managing a company's reputation online, chemistry of soap, HR fundamentals of service, lean strategy, HR fundamentals. Uh, they, they're just repeating it. Uh, they're going to have to, uh, wow, a heat pump dryer. Look at that. They're going to have a heat pump dryer there. 30-inch uh, glass uh, gas range. Man, they got Samsung technical tra training. So Samsung is going to be there with their stuff. They go sub zero, ASCO, women in the industry. Man, look, look, the air slide, they're going to be there. So uh, I might just hold off and wait till I get there to see what they got. And I'll uh, check it out, and then, then I might buy mine there. All right. Uh, get unstuck and start scaling. They're going to have some about uh, how you can scale up your business. Keeping your employees happy. Uh, let's see what they're going to have here on the 21st. Uh, Fisher and Packle uh, column refrigerator. Uh, now, this right here what I always like. Uh, first thing in the mornings. Um, we, we have like, they have like a big round table meeting. We used to get there early and everybody get there and, you, and we just talk, just talk business. Uh, like that's what that's going to be. Just a little panel discussion. Yeah, that, that's good. Uh, going back here, Electrolux is going to be there. Speed Queen, people want to know about Speed Queen. Uh, I think they're just going to have their residential. I don't think they're going to have their uh, front load. They, uh, they're not going to have their, what, what they're bringing front loaders this time. I don't know. They bring a front loaders and top loaders, uh, but it probably just be residential. I don't think they're gonna do commercial. Uh, Whirlpool, um, all look at everything they got going on. Doing business with Lowe's, I'm gonna go check that one out. Be a five star business. Uh, lawsuits, <laughs> I've been through there. Soft skills. Okay, here go another people um, who wants to do uh, seal systems. R600, that's the new Freon that, that's coming out. And they're going to have the lockings, uh, connections and stuff. Uh, prepare your business to sell. See what else we got. Man, look at all the good stuff that, that we'd be doing while we're here. How to develop a, a high converting website. That's always good. Uh Successful dealing with unhappy customers and employees. <clears throat> well, this is the one I need to go to right here because I'm transitioning next year. Uh, I'm going to have to definitely go there uh, on a transition. All right. So that, that's everything we got going on. Um, uh, let's see what the... Uh, See what the prices are. If they got the prices here. <clears throat> um, we will have to do the, uh, we can't do that one. See how much the price is. I think it's like $500. Uh, da, da. See how much the price is. Uh, they're not gonna show me the price until I, I get ready to go, but it's probably five or six hundred dollars. But yeah, that's uh that's what we that's what we doing in January, and uh, uh I'll be there. All right, let me go back up see what we got going on, and then I'm gonna get ready to get out of here. Okay, they got some more. Uh, they got some more. Um, what's called going on? Networking. Who are some of the warranty companies that pay weekly and bi weekly? Uh, from, from now they're paying within three days <laughs> so, and within uh, probably could get it for the next day. Uh, I, I, I think all, all Republic and them, they pay almost, almost instantly. Last time I was with them, it may be a day or two American home shield three days. Uh, you have your money within three days, like two days. So, uh, uh people are not doing the week and bi-weekly as much now. All right. That's the Roberts. Show them the air slide brand. Okay, all right. 
Uh, Black 1221. Mike, you come a long way from paying to teach other uh, applying prepare to have them begging you to take their money to learn his trade tables turn. Yeah, it, it's, it's funny. Uh, I've went through a call. I, I just told people I'm back in my element now. I'm actually paying some young guys to actually uh, let me, I'm paying them to actually renovate my uh, building, but I'm actually showing them how to do it. And um, it actually, uh, I'm actually really enjoying it, seeing them actually learn to trade, seeing them actually uh, uh, learn how to do it, and actually being able to help them because they needed to make some money. And uh, to see, uh, they, they, they they actually now saying they actually uh, are developing a trade. So it, 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 it has come full circle, full circle. Uh, no, nah, uh, yeah, that's all you need to register. Uh, so just email me, Dave Mauser, um, with the uh, with your email address, and I add you in uh, sometime between the next day or so. All right. Um, yeah, uh, TC Appliance Repair. Yeah, come down, come down to Asti. Um, I'm gonna be there. Um, Mike Check said he's coming, and uh, uh, TMM said he's gonna be there too. But I'm definitely gonna be there. So uh, you you come there. Uh, I'd love to meet you there, and you it, it's well worth it. It'd be well worth it. It'd be well worth it. Uh, James uh, Sander, you will be there someday. Uh, you'll be there next year. Um, put it on your your schedule. You'll be there next year. Uh, Reginald Terry, yeah, you're gonna have to email me. I'm gonna have to add you in. Um, because uh, what you call? Uh, I probably email me with your email address. I have to add you in if you go there. All right, James Sander, uh, Mike, I got a mid size SUV. Can I use that as my work vehicle? I do a new van for this job. No, nah, that's fine. Uh, I, what you call? I started out working in my wife 88 uh, Honda Accord. So, so now nah, you fine, you can do it. All right, so now nah, you can do it in an SUV, and some people still do it in an SUV. I think uh, I think TC Appliance uh, still still operates out of SUV. All right, uh, Mike Reed Speed Queen will have their residential usually the top load washer and dryer. Yeah, uh, I thought they had stopped doing the residential front load, but like they're bringing it back. Uh, so they bring the residential front load now. Uh, how how much is the online class? Um, the online and the live event is now combined as one, and it's um uh one thousand six hundred and fifty dollars for that. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm not money, Mike, but yeah, I, I am gonna, I probably am gonna get one, and then I, I I'll show you how to work. And I'm, I, I'm actually, uh, I probably, I probably do a review while I'm there. Uh, we'll do a review for it. Okay. Uh, Juan, I just got up on the event, but I have to make plans to be at this event. <laughs> okay. Yeah. This is, uh, this is the event that everybody goes to within our industry. And like I said, I'm very, uh, in the industry, I'm very, very, very small. I'm very small in this industry. Um, those people like Paul McDonald, uh, Dean Landers, all of those guys, they, the guys who, uh, uh, Steve Moore, um, those are the guys that actually built this industry that, that we're in. And uh, those, all those guys will be there. And just like everybody, you can sit down and have lunch with them and talk. Uh, you walk up to them and talk to them. Everybody, everybody gets down to earth and everybody's an open book. And uh, you get you get all the knowledge from everybody there. Everybody's there. And like I say, I'm very, very small. It's some, it's some major players here uh, that, that, that's there that, you know, that, that have uh, – multi-million dollar businesses there a, a lot of them it ain't just one it's a lot of them i remember the first time i went to the i used to go to just the technical side they usually have two sides they have a technical side then they have a business side so a lot of people they'll bring technicians with them and they'll send their technicians to the technical side and then the owners uh would go always to the business side well one year i went to the business side and i remember sitting down and to this big like conference room and um i remember the guy uh they were presenting he said, uh, everybody uh, who, uh, who what you call, who, uh, I think they say everybody who, who made $100,000, uh, I think like 100000 to one hundred and fifty, dollars maybe $200,000, raise your hand. And a couple of us raised our hands. 
And I was like, no, these guys don't know what they're doing. They ain't making no money because because I raised my hand with the ones making a hundred thousand dollars and, and whatnot. Then he said, everybody who made five hundred thousand to 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 one million, raise your hand. Nobody raised their hand. Now I, I say, ain't nobody making that. They got about two million. Uh, over half of the people in the in the conference room start raising their hands. And I'm like, damn, they making two million dollars doing this. And uh, that's when I said, forget the technical side. I'm going to the business side. <laughs> and that's when I started just going to the business side. Because in the technical side, you hear a lot of uh, people, uh, they care more about the fixing stuff and they complaining to the manufacturers like they'll be there complaining to Samsung about these compressors and these, these boards. Y'all making junk and y'all need to fix this. You hear a bunch of complaining. On the business side, it, won't even, it wasn't any of that. It was all about uh, making money and, and, and building your business up. So I actually stopped going to the technical side. I'm gonna show up to some of the technicals this time because I need to I need to uh, get back to people uh, that's coming to appliance boot camp. So uh, I'm gonna be more on the technical side this time, believe it or not. Uh, Louis T, uh, thanks for the amazing information, bro. You have gave me so much motivation to step out there. I'm in Baltimore. There you go. Um, you make a lot of money in Baltimore, man. We had some people come from the Maryland area doing really good. Here we go. Uh, okay, there go TC. So, yeah, he does use an SUV. Mike, wish I could make the event in January. I love the agenda. Yeah, it's good. Um, um, I'm going to take some videos there as much as they allow me. Um, I'm definitely going to do them outside of the venue, uh, well, outside of the actual um, uh, uh, seminars and stuff. I'm going to be doing videos then, uh, maybe get some people on to talk. Um, but, yeah, if you don't make it this time, that's to put that on your schedule to be there next time. Okay. Uh, TC giving out some advice. Okay, OSA ABTM. Mike, in regards to those who already went to physical appliance boot camp, I believe in the previous video you told us you were going to send uh, us the online version as well via email. Nah, you don't get it via email. You got to go sign up. So you go to appliancebootcamp.com and register. And once you register, you send me an email with your, uh, with the, you want to use the same email you use when you've done the appliance boot camp live. And then I, uh, I, I put you in on, on, on the program there. Okay. Okay. Uh, Black 12, 21, two. Hearing you talk about this is so motivating to me. Thanks, man. Uh, and I, I'm not, uh, I, I don't want to come off like I, I'm, I'm overhyping this and stuff. There's people in here that, that does it for a living. You got TC Appliance Repair. You got Juan. Uh, I think Mike Reed. Uh, I, I, some, some people I don't want to call their names, but I, I uh, because we don't read, we, we got, you got people in here who does it, who can actually verify, you know, that there's here that, uh, is, I'm, I'm not over, I don't want to overhype it, but you got people here who, who, uh, who, uh, who can actually tell you that, Hey, th this, 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 this is real. Matter of fact, I had a guy call me from, they took the online only back in, uh, September sometime. He, he reached out to me earlier today and, uh, we were talking and I was asking him how was it, you know, not coming to the live event, but just doing the online. He said, okay, he's learning how to, uh, uh, he learned a lot uh, from YouTube and stuff, and he, he's doing okay. He, he's actually out there running calls. And he said, he said, this what this what he told me. He said, I remember uh, when you said uh, uh, that it was what you call one of the fallbacks was just too much work out here. And he said, uh, uh, I've what you call, I, I, I kept saying, uh, that's the problem I want to have. That's the problem I want to have. I want that problem. And he told me today, he said, man, I understand what you're talking about now. He said, every morning I wake up, he said, I got uh, I got two or three service calls coming, and I haven't got finished the ones that I haven't <laughs> scheduled the ones I got. And he said, uh, he said this morning, uh, he, he thought he won't uh, he thought he wasn't gonna have any service calls because he hadn't gotten anything. He said it was a relief. He said, I was feeling good because I hadn't gotten any service calls. And now that we're talking, I think he had someone came through. But yeah, he, he he got to the point where he was looking forward to getting the date, but didn't nobody call him so he could actually catch up. He said it's to the point where he couldn't catch up. It was just too much work out here that he was actually gonna have to call the cus call the company back and tell he can't take any more work right now. He uh he he need to catch up. 
Okay, Black 12, 21, too. Uh, yeah, you believe, yeah, it's 1%. Yeah, okay. Uh, Drake Cap, old dude with my town is ready to retire and is selling his appliance repair business. He's been there for 14 years and he makes well over a million with just two techs. He offered me the opportunity to buy it. Oh, wow. Okay. If he already got text and uh, see what he, see what he wants and make sure verify what he, what, uh, what he, what he's making there. Uh, but if he already got text, that's buying, that's really buying a business. You're not buying a job. Um, you know, if you had the money to do that, you could do that. Uh, I would like to uh, see what, how much he's asking for. It. TC appliance repair is definitely real. Okay. Yeah. There you go. TC verified cosign. Okay, there you go. Somebody giving them some work, uh, some um, advice. Son of no, I'm gonna have to move to the states where it's hot. Uh, all the states are hot, man. Uh, believe it or not, all the states are hot. I don't know anybody that does or applies repair someplace and it, it, it doesn't work out for them. I don't know anybody. Uh, that goes in rural areas, highly populated areas, low income areas, <laughs> uh, uh, high end neighborhoods. I don't know anybody who does appliance repair and uh, and doesn't work out for them. Now, now if you're in another another country, uh, like uh, I had a guy reach out to me from uh, from Canada, and I think in Canada they actually uh, he was telling me that it's actually regulated where they had actually have to have a license and stuff to go in business uh, to, to do appliance repair. Now, if that appliance repair is still uh, still a good trade to get into. But I don't know the, the nuances of actually starting your business there. Um, but uh, like they actually took it and, and put it like the uh, like the plumbing, electrical, and HVAC and stuff. Uh, once they once uh, once they do that, uh, it still it, it make it it make it a lot it make it a lot better for us to know they get, get grandfathered in. But people coming behind us, they won't have the opportunities that we have now. Uh, right now, if uh, we have the opportunity where you can just you can just start tomorrow doing appliance repair and you, you can be in business. Uh, I don't know how long that's going to last. All right. Okay. Ofar, once we finish your training courses online, how do we register with third party warranty companies so we can start getting work? Uh, that's in the course. Uh, once you finish the course, it has a, a portion on there, how you register with the third party warranty company and the business portion. You'll see that in the course. All right, Louis T. So if uh, so if N can only do online courses and not the live event, it's the same price. Not that it's a problem, just to make sure I fully. That's right, it's the same price. It's the same price. Okay, they are doing their thing in Canada. They make it so enticing to go north. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. They, uh, I don't know, uh, Mike Reed. The guy wanted to uh, he wanted to start his own appliance repair business. Uh, uh, but I don't know if he could actually just go and start like we can here. Here, you know, you, you, you register, you don't even have to, you can be a sole proprietor if you want, but uh, I want you to register your LLC. Uh, that way you can actually have a, a, a barrier of protection. And also you can take advantage of the tax breaks that we have here in the United States because you uh, you own, a, you have an LLC. But uh, the way they got it, uh, from what he's told me, you got to actually have a, a, a license, a contractor's license, like you have to do for plumbing and electrical. Now, uh, like I say, I don't know how long this is going to last here in the, in the United States with us being able to actually do appliance repair while well, having to have a, uh, some type of contractor's license or special privilege license to actually do it. Um, because, like I say, right now, uh, up until now, uh, it's, it's been uh, it's, it's, it's been a. a uh, a little unknown secret. Nobody really knew about it. Uh, now it's it's getting out the it's getting out there. A lot of people are noticing that you can actually now uh, uh, what's it called? You can actually now make a lot of money doing appliance repair. Uh, a lot of people are gravitating coming here. Uh, I don't know how long it'll be before the good old boys say, "Hey, we want to close the door and don't let nobody else in." Um, so, Mike Reed, the brothers in Canada have contracts to be. Decor sole providers and over 15 techs. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Uh, so uh so the young man, I don't uh if if you from Canada in the, in here, you might want to uh, reach out to Mike Reed. He like he knows something about how to do it in Canada. I didn't know that. Okay, okay, Okafor. So if so, if so, we need an LLC 
company website, fire check and start with. No, 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 no. Uh, you don't need an LLC. You don't need a company website. And you don't need a five banking account to start with the third party warranty. But if you do it the way I tell you to do it, um, I don't say anything about a company website. I say start your LLC and uh, start with the five banking account. Five banking accounts don't cost you anything. Just open up five checking accounts. Um, um, you're going to open business accounts once you get your LLC. I tell you to do that because I want you to take advantage of the tax breaks. And um, I want you to actually start allocating your funds so that you actually have money available. Uh, because if, if you don't, if you just uh, put all your, if you take all your money and put it in one place and don't tell your money where to go, you ain't going to know where it went. Uh, after about two years of doing this, you're going to say, hey, I made $200,000, $300,000, but I don't know where a penny of it went. Uh, I don't want you to make the mistakes that I make. That's why I tell you, start with that five banking accounts and, and, and break it out, and that way you'll be fine. You don't have to worry about when time slow down. Like right now, for uh, this week, uh, probably in the next two to three weeks, um, it's going to slow down some for us. And the reason why, because it's Christmas. People now are getting ready to start uh, being, doing more stuff for their family. They're going to be going on, uh, leaving out of town, going on vacation. They, they're in the Christmas mode. Um, so it's going to slow down for about two or three weeks here. If you don't have the, uh, the uh, what I call the 25% owner's pay that I tell you in the five bank accounts, so when you get that slow, time, slow down time, that you actually can still make your same get, get your weekly paycheck that you normally get. Uh, some people be kind of struggling uh, for those three weeks, believe it or not. Same thing. Uh, we're coming up on another end of the quarter. If you do what I tell you to do and you got that 10% profit, hey, my, 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 my wife and family now, they want to know when we're going to get the profit. <laughs> they ready to go buy Christmas stuff now. And they say, hey, when, when that profit money is coming in. So, uh, you know, you got that you got that coming in for Christmas. Well, Christmas is going to be really good. So, uh, uh, yeah, so that, that's why I tell you to do those things. All right. Uh, Drake Cap. Uh, yeah, he has two techs, three vehicles, two office staff contracts to manufacture, one high-end scratch and dent to sell. Oh, wow. Okay. He's asking uh, 325 Okay. All right. So uh, that's good. Uh, let's see. Uh, so three twenty-five. Okay. That's not bad at all. If he if that's what he's asking, and you need you need to see what he, uh, you need to see where he net. See see what see how much he net. So if he if he's asking three twenty five, uh, da, da, da. let me see how much how much he should be he's probably netting. Ah, he got to be more than that. Usually, what we do, um. I, I, would, I would like to see how much he net. Usually what you do, um, you want to get at least a 20% return on, on your on, on your money. Uh, so if he's asking 325, uh, that means he, he should be netting somewhere about 60. That, that put him netting some, something like 65,000 a year. And that don't sound right. Not with no uh, two technicians, uh, two, two office staff, three vehicles. He's doing scratch and dent sales. Uh, I'll, I'll actually have to look at that. I'll actually have to look at that. Um, I have to look at that. Because I'll that, only put him only netting about 65000 a year. Um, and I, I would like to see what, uh, see, how, see how much, see how much his lease is on that building and, and when, when the lease is supposed to expire. Uh, it, it's just, uh, just a lot of unknowns there. A lot of unknowns. Okafor, we need business card for third party warranty companies. You need, if you're in business, you need business cards. Uh, that, that, uh, that's, uh, you need some way for somebody to you give people your information. Uh, somebody was here at the last, uh, last, uh, last appliance boot camp. Um, he had this thing on his phone where he could actually just tap your phone or put it on your phone 
and it'll transfer his card right to your phone, um, cell phone. But you got to have a way to give people your information. You want you want business cards to give the you want to leave business card with every customer you go to, and don't give them one, give them two or three, so that they're gonna keep one and then what's called give one to somebody else. Um, you always want to give them uh, cards, magnets, brochures, anything you can with your name on. It. Um, that, that's, that's just business. You, 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 gotta, you, you want to let people know what you're doing. Mike, what do you mean big boys closing the doors? What I mean by big boys closing the doors, the guys who got the real big companies um, who, who drive the industry, um, after a while, you don't want a lot of a lot of people coming in because of too many people. They figure if too many people are coming in, it's going to cut their, it's going to cut into their margins. So what they do then, they'll go to like Congress or somebody, go to the government and say, you got too many people coming in. Uh, they making, they messing up people's houses. It's dangerous. They could, they could burn somebody's house down. You need to make it so that you can, what's my call? Uh, you got to be able to verify that these people know what they're doing. Let's let, let me make a, a standardized test and requirements of, of what people need to have before they actually come into the business. And then they can actually limit the amount of people who come in. Or they do like they do plumbing and stuff. So you got to work for me for five years, and then I got to sign off and say you can go, you can come into, you can go take the test. <clears throat> okay, look, uh, look and see what he got. All right, all right. Uh, once again, um, we we at that nine o'clock time frame. Um, thank everybody, the fifty five people who's watching. Um, we will be back again on um, on Thursday at eight o'clock. Uh, and like I say, if you like this teaching a little bit better, I'm gonna I'm gonna teach you a little bit more, um, and, and go go a little bit more showing my teaching style, and then I'm gonna actually start uh doing a little bit more of the actual business stuff again too. Um, how to uh like now I need to go out and, and, and find out uh, about health insurance and stuff. I need to go find that for you all, um, because a lot of people are, a lot of people a lot of people are quitting their jobs. And they're gonna uh, they're gonna need to get uh they need gonna need to get health insurance. I need to go figure that out how you get your health insurance. Uh, thank you, uh, TC Appliance for jumping in and Milkman Trucker. Uh, the property is doing fine. I went out there last week. I had to get some actual lumber. Uh, the lumber that I had to finish some of my property, I actually brought that back to uh, to uh, to do some of the work in the uh, actual um, appliance boot camp uh, new building. So I went out there and uh, it's, 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 uh, it's still there. It, it, it ain't nobody stole it. So the, the houses are still there. So once we get the appliance boot camp up and going, I'm going to take these uh, these two young men that I got. I'm going to actually push them over to the other building and let them renovate that building. That building, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it yet. Um, I might even uh, make that something that we all can decide together. Uh, where we'll actually go through and we'll actually uh, – uh, show you how uh, we can actually show you how I evaluate my different businesses and stuff and find something we'll put in there. We might do that together. Uh, uh, that way we can see a business coming up from, from uh, share evaluate, uh, going out evaluating stuff and actually uh, then putting something in there. All right. All right. Thank you all for tuning in. If you would, uh, if you want to uh, go to, if you haven't already, Go over to appliancebootcamp.com uh, and sign up for Appliance Bootcamp uh, Register. Um, you don't have to buy anything, but if you register, um, that's, the, that's the way I'm going to actually uh, keep in contact with people and, and new stuff coming out. Uh, I'll come to YouTube, but if you go there, it actually send you an email too. I'm going to start sending um, messages out that way. And if you want to know what's going on with Appliance Bootcamp and stuff, that's, the, uh, that's where you need to go to, appliancebootcamp.com. Um, the website is up and going. We're going to make some changes to it. Uh, but that's where uh, you can find out everything about Appliance Bootcamp. Thank you all again for tuning in. And I'll see you all on uh, Thursday.